do you want a dry mouth? You know, like so dry, you can't talk. Like you feel like it's a desert inside your mouth. I know that sounds super exciting. So if you want dry mouth, get this. Cause this will give you a dry mouth. I mean, I know it says that it's for a dry mouth and it soothes dry mouth, but that's what they're selling you. But what are you really buying? Let's take a look at the ingredients because the ingredients will tell you what you're really buying. Fluoride. Okay, not even going to go there because not only is it a neurotoxin, it's not going to prevent dry mouth. Okay, the other ingredients, glycerin, which is actually going to put a coating on your teeth and prevent minerals from getting in. Sorbitol, xylitol, paloxamer 407, never good when there's a number. A number basically means it's a chemical, which means it's toxic. Anything toxic is not going to hydrate anything in your body. It's actually going to cause cell death or worse, mutate it. Hmm. Okay, uh, betaine, propylene glycol, propylene glycol, that's formaldehyde. Have you ever seen a dead body not look dehydrated? Yes, <laughs> put formaldehyde in your mouth and see if it hydrates you. Uh, let's see, flavors, okay, obviously artificial. Oh, wow, PEG14M, yeah. Not good when it has a number, PEG160M. Got it. Then there's a couple of things that look good. Ginger, yeah, okay. There's probably not enough in there to do any good. Honeysuckle flower. Oh, keep going. Polysorbate 20, toxic. Uh, I can't read a couple of these names because they're all chemicals. And then you end up with sucralose. We know that's not good. Green number three and yellow number 10. Again, if you want dry mouth and a whole lot of other medical problems, make sure you use something like this because this will definitely cause dry mouth. If you don't want a dry mouth and you want to nourish the tissues of your mouth and hydrate your mouth, don't reach for that. Reach for an oil base. Your gum tissue is very delicate and Oil is what is going to nourish it and make it feel soft and hydrate it or make the good bacteria grow. This is going to kill the good bacteria in your mouth, which will actually cause more acids, wear down your enamel, cause gum recession, and that leads to diabetes, heart disease, infertility, thyroid problems, Alzheimer's, Oh, a whole bunch of problems. So if that's what you want, keep using this. But if you want something that's going to nourish your gums as well as the rest of your body, use gumdrops made with olive oil and essential oils to help restore the good bacteria inside the mouth and nourish your tissues. It's that simple.